What's up guys, Mayor from iTech224. Earlier this evening, Google released the much anticipated Google Maps app. It's here and it's free, so let's take a quick look at what the app has to offer. As far as the look and feel goes, I have to say this is the best map app I have ever used. The design is sleek and elegant and gives you all the utility you need without any fancy features that you'll never use. Included are some really useful gesture inputs. You can of course pinch to zoom and pan around. You can double tap and scroll to zoom in. You can two finger swipe up and down to adjust the pitch and you can two finger swipe from the right to bring up the different map options. On top you have your search bar and next to that is the button for directions and next to that is a button for your profile. On the bottom left hand corner you have a button to go to your location and on the right you have a button to bring up map options if you don't want to use the gesture. When you search for a destination you get a small pop-up on the bottom of the screen with some information. To get more info just slide the bar up and you will get full details including store info and reviews. In here we also have the option for Street View. Street View works just as you would expect and also has a cool feature where you can move the phone around as you view it. Although not 100% useful, I'm glad I have it and it's a neat feature. The different map options include showing traffic, public transportation, satellite view, and link to Google Earth in the App Store. One of the biggest complaints of the stock map app on iOS is that there was no option for public transportation. With Google, that's just a tap away and having used it in the past, I know it works great and it'll get you where you need to go. We also have turn by turn navigation. Now I haven't had a chance to use it just yet, but it loads quickly and seems to work just fine. If you're on the road and close the app while using navigation, you'll get a notification when a turn is coming up, so you don't have to worry about missing a turn. One small feature that Google included that I see myself liking is a profile option. When you download the app, you have the option to sign in, and after that, you have an option to enter your home address or work address. Having to enter my home address every time I want to get directions can get quite annoying, and now all I have to do is click home and I'm on my way. Overall, the Google Maps app is a big winner. The design is beautiful and everything works seamlessly. The app is incredibly fast and loads everything almost instantly. In fact, it really surprised me how snappy this was. Having used it for a few hours, there's honestly nothing I can find that I don't like about it. Everyone knows hands down Google has the best maps and this app really complements it and really gives you the power that you need in a map application. If you are a big maps user, then this is a must download and the app is available for free in the app store right now. I hope you enjoyed my quick hands on with Google Maps. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button and if you haven't already, hit subscribe to see more content like this. That would be greatly appreciated. Like I said, I'm Matt from iTech224 and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.